everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am coming to you from Osia. Uh, just about to start the UTMB OCC race which will be my biggest race in a while actually and it starts here in Orsia and ends in Chamonix one of my favorite places to run I've done bits of this route before but not a huge amount of it but I'm gonna bring you guys along to the whole thing so hopefully you guys will enjoy the views as much as I do you'll probably be able to see them more than I will because I will be looking at my feet trying not to fall over the race starts in about half an hour and I'm just heading to the start line now you get the sexy view of the toilet queue behind me <laughs> but also of the mountains which are significantly more beautiful I'm gonna head to the start now show you guys what it's all about I'm gonna stop talking and just let the atmosphere do the talking because it is incredible here in poles are out starting to climb a little bit uh, it's only gonna get hillier from here <laughs> check those views <laughs> And since we're on a little bit of a flat bit, I thought I'd talk to you guys. Um, so I always have A, B and C goals for a race. Um, this year, the goals are slightly different because uh, all year I've been struggling with my health a little bit. So um, we've had to temper our expectations, which is fine. I'm here after all. Um, goal A is to finish and uh, have a good time whilst doing it. Goal B is to get a good proportion of the way in um, and thoroughly enjoy the bits I do do and if I have to DNF make that decision before that decision is made for me um, and how far that is that's fine um, and goal C is to start <laughs> and to have as much fun as possible um, and today this year starting felt pretty brave actually because there were lots of times where I did not think I would be here so um, feel pretty good about that. Goal C ticked. Let's try and get goals B and A. Fingers crossed. Thank you. First aid station. Whew. Nearly seven and a half K in. I'll be taking my sweet time here, but it's so early in. The next aid station's not for a while, so making the most of it. Just a water refill and some toilets. How handy is that? Actually so good to have bathrooms on the way around, especially seven K in where there's a rush for all the loos at the start and then uh, chaos ensues because everyone's rushing to go to the loop and also to start the race um so yeah so far so good my heart is doing funny things but um that's definitely a combination of altitude i haven't oh look at that cool i haven't run recently at all <laughs> literally like a flat 5k tiredness from an early start i'm feeling surprisingly positive which is nice because I did not yesterday um, <laughs> at all but um, I didn't know I basically was just like oh well I might as well start because I will certainly definitely regret it if I don't and then I was like well the first aid station is like seven eight kilometers in um, it's all climbing so I'll be able to see how I feel after a bit of climbing um, and I can always pull out at that aid station now I'm past the aid station, which is great. Um, and the next one is like 
21 kilometers in or something. Um, and there's a big mountain between here and there. And the first of the proper mountains so far, it's just been little hills. Well, it did not feel like it, it was pretty tough. Um, but yeah, so big mountain up and over that. Second aid station up and over another mountain. Third aid station at 33k up and over another mountain down to Chamonix. I think that's the goal at least. Um, yeah, so fingers crossed all goes to plan. And I'm gonna eat some food as well while we're on a flat a bit because I've been going for just over an hour now. And I'm hungry. I ate my breakfast at 5.30 this morning. And um, it's like 9.30 now. Champelac, trop joli. Look, 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 it's so pretty. onto the nice, easy, smooth descent before the big fat climb. Um, and just under 10 kilometers in, which is 20% of, the, no, not quite, mm, a little bit less than that. Um, hey, I'm happy to be going downhill. The quads are finally waking up a little bit. They're gonna need to, because later it looks spicy. But yeah, very happy to be out and it's so beautiful, look. Incroyable. It has done a lot of raining recently here and uh, the trails are a little bit slippery actually. This is the first time I've ever had to use my poles running downhill. I don't usually bother because I can trust where my feet go, but here, not so much. Ooh, it is, it's not too bad. It's actually pretty nice and soft on the foot, but definitely a chance for slipping. Not as bad as British trails though, that is for sure. Hello, little one. Hello, you are very cute. Check that view. Ooh, with a pony. Oh, you are adorable. Look at you. Why are you so cute? <laughs> and you, you are cute too. Salut. I think maybe everyone thinks I'm insane for saying hi to all the animals, <laughs> but it keeps the morale up. Overrated. It takes too much mental energy. So we just go and hope for the best. Nearly two and a half hours in. I'm gonna eat my second piece of food. I've also been having tailwind in my drink, so 300 calories there. Electrolytes in the other one. Flapjack galore. Three different types of flapjack, actually. Lucky me. Look at that. Ooh. You can see the snow at the top. That's from the last few days. Raining down in Chamonix. Snowing at the top of the peaks. I wonder if we'll see some today. Probably. Seem to be going quite high up. I am knackered. <laughs> knackered, knackered, knackered. Not even 16K in. And I feel like I want to die. These hills will be the death of me. <laughs> no doubt. Blech. scenery is mind-blowing <laughs> this is why we do this sort of stuff to get views like that we are 17.3 kilometers in uh, I'm pretty proud of the fact that I'm still moving sometimes on the hills it's all I can do to keep moving forwards I'm not the sort of person to stop on a hill because I don't want the hill to take any longer than it absolutely has to take I want to get to those downhills and tick off some miles faster than, you know, 20 minutes a kilometer or whatever. Um, sorry for mixing my metrics, as per usual. Um, ugh, I ran out of water at like 15K. 
going to be 16k and I was quite worried because the next aid station isn't until uh, 23, 24k or something and um, when you're going all uphill that's quite a long time but thankfully at the refuges they have um, water refills. Merci! And uh, that meant that I could refill with ice cold glacier water, which is the best thing ever. So good. And look at that view. Incredible. And now we go down. Downhill. Oh, my legs. Oh, my legs. Christ alive. Let's go. a little bit at the Spice hey? <laughs> good fun just trying not to die Woo. we go into a little house I am blind water <laughs> next aid station five kilometers and up we go bit is in MCC so I've done this bit before and in the first 17k this is the only runnable section and the rest is just uphill for like three plus hours which is knackering now though I've already done 22k hell of a lot of uphill I'm sort of running shuffling I'm doing the ultra shuffle uh, and I'm definitely more tired than I was during MCC, but at this point at MCC we'd only done like 12k or something. Um, I'll be at all uphill. And I had the worst stitch of my life. <laughs> this time two years ago. It was awful. <sighs> but we must continue, make the most of the runnable bit, and then walk when I have to, which will be on this next climb up to, I assume, Col de Baume since that's where we are headed, I think, unless it goes a different way. I probably should have studied the route a bit better, but we will find out when we get there. This is not where I expected we were going. Maybe not Calderbaum quite yet. <sighs> I have no idea. Should have looked at the route, but uh, the MCC route does not come down this far and downhill can only mean one thing, as we know. Oh God, but my quads are already so dead. Slightly problematic, still only coming off climb one and there is a hell of a lot more to do. Beautiful, look at that. I told myself I'd take a lot of time at the aid stations because I know that there is a huge whopper of a climb coming up, uh, the biggest climb in the race. And I want to make sure that I'm well rested for it because I am tired and everything hurts. So yeah, got to be careful. Make sure that I'm in one piece by the end because we want to make it that far. Found a friend. I didn't even ask your name. What was your name? Chrissy. Chrissy, I'm Cora. 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 <laughs> you looking forward to this next climb? It's better than last year's, so. Is it? Yeah, it's a little bit shorter. So. But we have more elevation overall. We end up the same place. Yeah. It's all the same, it's fine. <laughs> I'm out of the aid station, 24 kilometers in, three hours 50. I am so tired. Ah! Oh. Oh, that's like sciatica. Ow, that's horrible. And so undertrained for this amount of hillage that uh, this next climb is going to be interesting. But so far, the mood has remained positive, which I think is really important because mood like it's so psychological this event and ultra running in general that if your brain doesn't want to do it like it's quite hard to convince your body to push through what is essentially a quite a painful activity <laughs> um so 
I am just trying to keep positive and finding it relatively easy when you have views like that and that and that. It's uh, freaking awesome. So yeah, just um, plodding along, taking it easy. I am on a nice long hike. If anyone saw me in the mountains, that's what they would think because I haven't done that much running yet. Horses! Hello! Hello, beautiful. How's it going? Oh, you are so pretty. Yes, you are. We are oh, back into proper climbing mode now. I have done hills at home, but just none of them are this steep. <laughs> I mean, I was here a month ago and, oh no, dropped my pole. I know I can do these hills. I know I can, but the body is just saying, oh, just take a nap. Don't worry, you can start again later. Just have a sit down at the side of the trail, you'll be fine. But also, if I have a nap, I still have to do the climb. I just have to do it later. So the nap is a no-go yet until we're in dire straits. And then I just need to get to the top of this hill. It is a big one, but it's the penultimate one and the biggest one. So if I can do it, I'm good. 27K. I do not like these climbs. I decided I don't like climbing at all, <laughs> but I know it's just a case of practice. So that's my own fault really, isn't it? Look, it just gets steeper and steeper. Whoa. the top of Calderbaum. There's a bit of a schlep still to go but I can see if not V peak a false peak of the peak which is good. Um, this is probably the first time ever I've struggled to keep food in. Um, not like retching or anything. Sorry that's disgusting. <laughs> Ultra on a talk. Um, but I'm not really wanting to eat, which is definitely bad and definitely a sign of how hard my body's working. Um, I'm very, very, very grateful that it's not warmer because it feels pretty darn warm to me, but it's really not, especially up here. But it is beautiful. The views, the wind, the trees, the mountains. Oh, I mean, like this is just incredible. I can't get my head around it. I'm so tired. Finally, we're at Calderbaum. Well, not quite, it's over there. I do not feel good. I feel like I've run 50, 50 kilometers already. I do not feel like I've only done 30. This is another level of tough. On the plus side, we are at 2,400 meters, 2,300 meters, something like that. Quite high up, so the fact that I feel like absolute shite should be expected, I guess. So, you know, um, keep everything in context. 
Uh, I can't remember what's it called at the moment. I think today just just water, but we will see. On the hat. I forgot how windy it was up here. It is freezing. quite as far but <coughs> I do not feel anything like that right now that is for sure just trying to hold it together still going down uh, 37k in um, it's a long descent really long 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 and um my quads weirdly feel better than they did had the earlier descents i don't know if it's shallower or easier underfoot or um just warmed up into it maybe my heart and my general fatigue is just horrendous i mean even when we started i felt like i'd run you know 20 30 kilometers already and now i feel like i've done easily 60 kilometers and I've only done 37, so um, we'll see. We'll see how I fare once I on here. I think I need some food. This is such a beautiful section, actually unbelievably gorgeous my favorite kind of running sort of foresty sort of mountainous so we are over 40 kilometers in done the distance of mcc but still very far from chamonix uh in six hours 47 which is 47 minutes slower she's about 45 minutes slower than I did MCC in two years ago which I was pretty upset about but then I was like hang on a second we went over an extra mountain and also I'm running quite a lot further today and I've still got another mountain to go so not too bad considering how I feel which by the way is absolutely horrendous but look at these trails they're just delightful so beautiful. Coming into Argentier for food. Food. Got lost here last time. A lot of turns. Uh, I'm dead. Okay. What food does Flora want today? All of it. Left Argentier and hiking up a big fat hill. Um, I had a small sit down and topped up my water with electrolytes as well as water because I ran out so definitely need more because it is hot down here uh, when you're not on the top of the mountain um, I have had this phrase in my head all day learn when to rest not to quit and it feels very prudent today because there were lots of times when I wanted to quit not least top of Calderbaum but it was so bloody cold. I was like, I'd rather just run down than have to wait for someone to come pick me up. Um, but uh, yeah, that's been a good one for today. I've still got a big climb to go and a long way, but I think we got this. I hope we got this. Hello, what's your name? My you name? Yes. I'm Rachel and this is Mocha. Hello Mocha. Hi. Thank you for coming to cheer oh. for me. I cannot say 
how nice it is to have friendly faces on the course. I need all the support I can get at this stage. My body is doing nothing for me. It's all in the head right now. 44 kilometers in at least. Uh -oh. So nearly there. So nearly there. Come on. Long exposed climb up to Fleischer. And then long descent into Chamonix, which I know very well. This is a tough climb. It's very steep. And um, it's also quite hot because there's no shade, but we're getting high up. So uh, should get nice soon. Nice and breezy. I'm totally destroyed. We've done over 3,100 meters of climbing. So nearly there. I actually think we've done quite a lot more than that. My watch has not picked it up. So nearly there. Oh, bloody hell. Just up to there. And that's all the climbing. Oh, I'm so excited to not climb anymore. Uh, and then we got all the downs. But I think I can cope with that because every step is in the right direction. Last little bit. I can't believe I'm doing this. I made it to Fleischer. Oh my God, I genuinely did not think this was gonna happen. I was so ready to pull out. I really, really was. I cannot believe it. I mean, still got a way to go, but I think I can do it. From here, I think I can do it. The start of this descent is fucking insane. Ah. Oh, my knees. I have some excruciating uh, knee pain. It's quite reminiscent of IT band syndrome, but I don't know. It kind of feels a little different. I don't know. Maybe it's something else and IT band syndrome in both my knees. Just so much ascending and descending today that my legs are just not sufficiently trained for. And it is so painful. And I love this section. I love it. It's like my favorite section to run of this whole course. And my knees are just not having it. So I'm just doing what I can because it's a long way, a long way down. Uh, I'm still running for now though. my legs anymore. I really hope I don't fall over. I wish I couldn't feel them. I can still feel them, but they feel like someone else's legs. It is a very strange sensation. 51 and a bit K. Come on. I am done with going downhill. Oh my God, no, you're kidding me. Oh, I thought this was just for UTMB. Oh, so cruel. So cruel. What's wrong with just crossing the road? Like all of the other roads that we've crossed. This is very unpleasant. I imagine downhill will be worse. Look who it is. <laughs> I found a friend. Look at these. <laughs>
well done, mate. Well done. <laughs> I can't believe that I just did that. That one probably means a lot more than any other race I've ever done in my entire life of how I've been feeling recently and how little I expected to be able to finish that race genuinely I came like 125th woman or something which is bonkers and unexpected and totally not why I do it but equally kind of crazy I had so much wonderful support out there from some of you guys some of my friends um, and genuinely I think that probably was what kept me going at times because um, I was very 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 close to stopping several times and I definitely would have done if I hadn't had some of that encouragement <clears throat> including from some other runners so if you ran with me at all thank you I do really appreciate it what a race Jesus Christ <laughs> that is tough um, yeah that's definitely it may not be the hardest race I've ever done simply because it's not as long but it is certainly the toughest race I have ever done in terms of how I felt um, and so I'm very proud of finishing it I can't stop crying oh, I need to get some pizza <laughs> Thanks so much everyone for watching this video. I'm sorry if it wasn't as uh, cheery as my usual vids, but I, I promise I'm crying with happiness Ugh, and not anything else. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I will be taking a short or long hiatus from running, depending on various things. Um, including how I feel after this and I will update you all on that in due course so thanks again for watching and um, all for your support I really 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 appreciate it and I will see you next time bye